Hi guys and welcome back to a new video of uh, Let's Talk Business. Today I want to talk to you guys about finance, um, how I personally organize my finance. A lot of people keep asking me that. The more you keep it under control, the more you will be able to save and the better you're gonna be with it. It's a very, very important um, aspect of owning a business, which we all do as artists. So let's go on and talk about how I organize my financial situation. Finance, a lot of people hate it, a lot of people don't know how to deal with it, they don't want to deal with it. Economics and money is so far away from creativity, but the fact is that the one thing that is really, really clear here is you can't survive without. So instead of having this humongous war with money, why don't we go and try to understand it? understand the aspects of how it works, why it works, and how it can work for us. All right, guys, let's give a look at um, at how I organize my finance. Now, I have here two different, um, two different charts. One of them is called financial disposition, which is basically the money that comes in and how it gets disposed and, uh, and broken apart. The other part is the financial overview where I keep track how much money is where at what point at what date. This is very important for me for my long term savings and investments just to keep track on how my money moves and how it works and what's really being efficient and what less. Um, but let's start with the financial disposition. What a lot of people do is the, uh, the check comes in and they put it into their bank account and they use the money and then there is none. And then the new check comes in and they use the money and maybe they use more that there is and they start getting in debt. Now this is how I do it when my money comes in. Now let's say my paycheck arrived and my paycheck is $850, right? I type in the left part here the amount that comes in and as you can see, it's already broken down in five different categories. This category here is basically the money that I keep to for my living expenses from that paycheck. 20% of that money, $170, go to my long-term investments. Uh, I mostly use apps like Robinhood, but I also have some portfolios back in Switzerland. Basically, those are uh, investments for the very very long run I don't touch that money almost ever five percent of this income always go to my little tax savings uh, now I'm not a freelance so I don't have to have that much on a separate account but it's always good to have some ten percent go to my acting savings and another five percent in a general save for uh, rainy days or whatever it is acquisitions whatever and like I said, 60% are my living expenses. Now, what it does is I only use about 60% of every paycheck to live for my day-to-day -day life and my rent and my phone and all these little different things. You can't use my percentage all the time because your situation is going to be different. So before you do this, you have to evaluate how much do you need for a living. It might be that you need less. It might be that you need 70% or 75%. So adjust those numbers based on your specific situations. Once I have broken down my paycheck, I go to my disposition and I check and see where is my money and what is it doing? February 20th, 2020, I have, if I start from scratch on my long-term savings, $170, right? In my general save, which would be this here, I have $42.50. In my acting save, I have $127.50. In my tax, another $42.50. I have on my bank account probably this $552.50. Now, Acorns is one of my savings app. I'm gonna go more in depth into that when I talk about saving. Let's say I have there um, another $50 and I have 
30 bucks on my Venmo, which gives me, I have a total of $1,000 all over the place. And this is my little chart for it. Now, what this is, is basically that this one and this one are the most flexibles. The other ones should always keep increasing. Now, let's say a new paycheck comes in and it's $1,500. This goes automatically. So let's say it's two weeks later. It's uh, uh, March, uh, I don't know, 7, 2020. Now here, long-term investments, I'm gonna add $300. On my savings, I'm gonna add 75, which gives a total of 117.50. In my acting, 225 go in addition to this, which makes it about, um, 340, 350, 250, 52, 50. And um, here we are the same. Now my Chase account, yes, $975 came in addition, but I have lived for two weeks from this. So it might be that there are something like $700 in there. Acorns grew as well to 65 and Venmo now has only $15 because I paid somebody. Now here's the thing. What you can see is that it tells you how each position is going to change from time to time. This is an example that I already filled out. For example, from October 4th, with paychecks every two weeks, um, you basically increase the money that you have all over by having the same expenses. This is just by organizing your money. It's nothing uh, magical. And as you can see, blue one, which is my Robinhood app, my long-term investments, keep increasing. Um, the general safe tax and acting should increase as well. But of course, every now and then I take it out because I have something to purchase. And uh, Chase, which is my bank account, the red one is the most uh, flexible one. By having the same expenses, you can increase your money by almost, what is it? 100, 200%. Um, just by organizing your money. All right, guys, uh, that's about it for um, financial organization and how I organize my money whenever it comes in and how I keep track of where my money is. If you have any questions, please comment below. I would love to answer them more specific. And uh, if there's anything else that you want to add or see, let me know. I'm very open for all of these things. Please uh, subscribe, hit the bell. You're going to be the first one to get notified and like and share these videos if they were helpful to you, which I really, really hope. So help me improve and help me help uh, a lot of other people. Till then, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon again.